Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Dabulkar. In this video, we will see static variables and functions in C++ language. Now see, to define any variable or function as static, we have to use keyword static. In this video, we will also discuss scope and lifetime of static variables and function. Now see, what do you mean by scope? In which block that variable will be used, that is called as a scope and lifetime is up to what time memory allocated to that variable will be allocated that is called as lifetime so everything we will discuss in this video and also we will go through many examples so see step by step we will go through the examples now see very simple example here i have taken so here we are not using any class right in next example we will see we will use class and in that class we will use static variable so here i have taken very simple example here we are not using class now see this is our main function and from this main function i am calling this counter function three times so see this is counter function right here we have one variable and to that variable we are allocating zero then we are incrementing value of x by one and then we are printing value of x right now see we'll run our code let us got compiled and we got the output now see x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1. So see, whenever we are calling this function, so every time x is getting allocated by 0 and it is getting incremented by 1 and then we are printing the value of x. Now see, for first counter call will be like this, second counter call again. So see, for this x, scope and lifetime will be up to this block only. In the sense, see, scope anyhow will be up to this because in this block only we can use x. Lifetime again it will be up to this block only so see when this block is getting over by this time by this line so at that after that what are the memories allocated to x that will get terminated it will get freed so after that we cannot use x right now see what we will do instead of this normal variable here we will make it static variable so see here we will make it static variable let us see what will happen so again we will compile it now see so see previously we got 1 1 1 right but now we got 1 2 3 see here we got 1 2 3 and reason is we have made this variable as a static variable and see lifetime of this static variable is not limited to this block it is for whole program and see lifetime of this static variable is whole this program in the beginning i have told scope and lifetime right so see for static variable scope will be similar to non-static variable in the sense see scope of static variable will be up to this block what is the meaning of this i cannot use this variable x in other function I means see if same statement if i write here now see we'll run our code and we'll see the output So see, we are getting error. X was not declared in this scope. What is the meaning of this? It has a scope for this block only. So uh, static variable scope is similar to non-static variable. The scope is here only. But lifetime is throughout the program. Means up to execution of last statement in this program. So throughout the program, it has this lifetime. Lifetime is memory allocated to variable will be allocated till the last statement in the program. So this is the lifetime. So see, scope is same similar to the non-static variable, but lifetime is throughout the program. Now see, we will see other example. Now see, in C++ language, we have this keyword static, right? Static keyword can be used in C language also. See, same example, but here I have written in C language. This was C++ program and this is C language program, right? Now see, just we will check it. So we have to use GCC static 1.c. So now see same code. See here we got 111, right? And if you make static, if you make this variable static, let us see what the output will get. Now see we got 1, 2, 3, right? So it was non static variable, and in this case, it was static variable. So what I want to say, static keyword can be used in C language and also it can be used in C language. Now see, so we have seen this example. 
here we have used static variable in this function right but this function was outside the class means no class we have mentioned here right now see next example we'll see here same function see same function this counter function here i have mentioned inside class say this is class definition and inside that i have mentioned this counter function right now see as we have mentioned it inside class so to access this function see here directly we have called that function right because it was outside the class there was no class but here we have mentioned this function inside this class and because of that we have to create first object of this class and by this class we will call it so see here we have created three object s1 s2 s3 and by this three objects we are calling this counter function right now the same thing we will do let us see. we'll run our code so now our program name is static 2.cpp so see we got result 1 1 1 right because this is non static variable now we'll make it static variable let us see we'll make it static variable got compiled no error and here we got output 1 2 3 right previously it was 1 1 1 1 but now it is 1 2 3 why because see scope is this block only for this variable scope is this only but lifetime is throughout the program lifetime is throughout the program and because of that memory is not terminated memory is not freed until the execution of last statement of the program and because of that see initially so this statement this initialization will happen only once right but next time it is only increment right so see first time this thing will happen so x uh, variable will get defined and it will get initialized to zero but for next second time third time this initialization will not happen because already that is done right so from second call onwards it will get incremented only so that's why we got 2 and 3 see if it is a non static variable so lifetime is up to this only so when this is over so at that time memory allocated to x will get freed but as it is a static variable memory allocated to x will not get freed it will be up to throughout the program lifetime of this program and that's why we are getting result 1 2 3 16 next example in static 2.cpp we have defined this variable x inside this function right we have defined inside this function now in next example what we will do we are defining outside this function see outside this function but as a data member of this class so see we have defined here that means now this variable x is data member of this function right till now we have not made it static let us see what output we are getting same example but instead of defining here what we have done we are define outside this function but within this class as a data member of this class now see so we'll run our code so our program name is static 3.cpp got compiled and we got the garbage value we got garbage value because see we have not allocated we have not initialized it right now see we'll make it static let us see see when we are compiling this program we are getting error see here we are getting error what is that error see data members are particular to object what is the meaning of this see if i remove this static now see x will be particular to s1 there will be second x means separate memory will get allocated for this x for s2 then there will be separate copy of x for s3 so there is a separate copy separate variable x for each of the right that's why we call it data member data member of this class but when we make it static now see this is static variable for whole class there will be single copy of x only once memory is allocated for this class for this variable right so see c++ what c++ has done they have put restriction over the variable see you have made it static right but static variable we cannot use as a normal data member normal data variable and because of that they have put some restriction and due to this they have put some restriction over the syntax what is the syntax see we have defined inside this class but also they have made one restriction they have made some compulsion that we have to define this variable outside the class also so see how we can define it now see integer x right 
likewise we have to define but this variable belongs to class student right so that also we have to mention here so our class name is student right so scope resolution operator likewise so integer student scope resolution operator and x that variable so what c++ has done they have made compulsion to define this static variable outside this class also so making static is not sufficient also we have to do one more thing that we have to define it outside this class now see we will run our code let us see in previous case we got error right so see now in this case no error and when we run it so we got the output one two three keep in mind when we are not initializing static variable by default they are allocated to zero means here by default x is initialized to zero now see now see suppose i don't want to initialize to zero suppose i want to initialize to four means what i am expecting i want to initialize four to x and i should get four five six five six seven that output i am expecting let us see what will happen now see here we got the error what is that error we cannot initialize non static variable inside the class see c++ forbids in class initialization of non con static member this so we cannot initialize static variable inside this class so we cannot make like this now see so we will not initialize here now here we will initialize let us see what will happen now see so here it is not allowed right now we are initializing here let us see what will happen so we will compile first and now we will run it now see here we got the output 5 6 7 now what is the meaning of this we cannot initialize static variable inside this class here we cannot initialize it but we can initialize outside this class so here we can initialize it okay now so see we have seen static variables right so we have discussed static variables we have written inside class outside the class that also we have seen we have seen scope and lifetime now see next thing is static function why we require static function first thing so see suppose if i take example suppose we have class employee okay and suppose i am creating some object suppose harish ram and prashant suppose these are three employees right these are the objects right employees class and harish ram prashant these are the objects now see uh, so suppose if i take variable salary so see salary will be individual to each object right there will be separate salary of harish salary of ram will be different salary of prashant will be different so salary this data member is particular to each object right there will be different value to each object but see suppose if i take count count of employees now see count of employees is not dependent on the harish ram prashant it is not dependent on each object right count is particular to employee right to class this count is particular to this class so in that situation what we do we make this count as a static variable right we make it static variable right now see suppose there is a requirement that we want count right so what in that case what we can do we can call one function something like this get count function we are calling but again get count function it is not particular to its object right this get count function it is related to this employee class means what we want directly we want how many objects are there or how many total count we that count number that we want right so we can make this function as a static function we will make it function static function which is which will be related to class and in static function we can use only static variables keep in mind in static function see here i am writing in static function we can static function we can use we can use only static variables of class static variables of class see what i am saying in static function we can use only static variables of class or static data members of class so in example we will see now see so we have this example see we have this example and here i have added one more function see get count function here i have written so what is the use of this function we want total count right so by this counter 
we are counting we are incrementing the value of x and the total count here we want to print it right now see so see this is a get count function right that we want to call it right now see uh, that i have told as it is a static function it is particular to class it is not particular to object it is particular to class so directly we can call it by using class right directly we can use, uh, use it by using class name so see this is a class name and to use this function or to call this function by using class name one operator there is scope resolution operator here we have to use normally see uh, when we call by object so we use dot operator right but we can call this static function by using this scope resolution operator and this class name see we will run our code let us see so name is 4.cpp and output so see total number of students is equal to 3 see from this get count this get count function we got this result so here we have called this static function by using this class name and the scope resolution operator and this is a static function now see here x is a static variable right one more thing see a static function we can call it by the scope resolution operator and class name right in the same way we can use this static variable by using scope resolution operator and class name so see same thing what i am doing see this statement i am adding here now see x is member of this student class right so x is a static variable so we can mention something like this see student there is a class name scope resolution operator and x but see x is private member that we have mentioned private member so we cannot access private member outside this class so what we'll do we'll make it public we'll make it public and here we'll print value of x so see this is static variable right so we'll see the output of this now see here we got it right value of x is equal to 7 and from where we got from this line so what i want to say see static function can be called by class name and for that purpose we have to use scope resolution operator in the same way we can use the static variables and by using this class name and scope resolution operator by that way we can use that value now see so see uh, here i have told in static function we can use static variables right now suppose there is a non-static variable of this class suppose some variable i am taking y is equal to 3 something like this or uh, we'll make it 4 okay now see now y is equal to 4 and this is a non-static variable right see x here we have used so x was static variable but y is non-static variable right now see what we'll do we'll print value of this y let us see so the value of y y is equal to and here we'll print value of y and one more ndl will add here now see what i am doing x is static variable no problem but y is non-static variable right it is a non-static variable that i am accessing in static function right so here i have mentioned now see so static 4.cpp so see here we got the output invalid use of member student y in static member function so what is the meaning of this we cannot use non-static variables inside static function see here i will write down we cannot use non-static variable of class inside static function okay we cannot use non-static variable of class inside static function okay but suppose if we define any variable here only something like this can we use now let us see we'll do all trial and error now see value of z so see what we have done we have defined z and uh, this value here we are accessing right let us see what output we will get so got compiled no error and output also we got right the value of z is equal to 5 now what is the meaning of this see here i am writing we 
can define non static variable inside static function static function right so see we cannot use we cannot use non static variable of class inside static function so see this y which was non static variable of this class so when we have mentioned we got there so we cannot use non static variable of class inside static function but if we define any other non static variable inside the class here only we are defining it so that we can do now see here i am creating one object right and here i am calling this counter function counter function right so see here i am calling non static function inside static function let us see will it work or not okay so no error and we got the output also right the value of x is equal to 4 we got from this line right so what is the meaning of this we can call non static function non static function inside static function right static function right so here this non static function so here see, you can see this counter was non static function right so we can call this non static function inside this static function so that we can do so see here we have done all trial and error so if i summarize it so see static keyword is used to define static variables and functions static variables and static functions are particular to class and not object for example here we have seen salary is particular to each object but suppose count so count is particular to this class it is not dependent on each object right and to perform some operations on the static variables we require static function and how to use it we have seen in this video so friends i hope you like this video if yes then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you